Hello guys, welcome to another video brought to you by Riyadh Quba, an English teacher. This is the ninth lesson entitled Job Ads. If you're interested and you want to find out more, please continue watching this video. Welcome back. In this video, we're going to hit two birds with one stone. First, we are going to learn how to answer a put in the right and tense form question and then uh, we will learn how to write a cover letter or what we call a letter of application. But before that, uh, we are going to uh, go over this uh, vocabulary exercise to be familiar with the, uh, some of uh, the words related to this uh, lesson. So what we have to do here is to complete each definition or synonym with the appropriate uh, word from uh, the box. So what do we have here in uh, the box? The first one we have applicant, then we have CV, then we have qualification, then we have requirement, then we have resume, then we have skill, then we have uh, four verbs to apply for, to be proficient in, to seek and to target. So, of course, the first thing that we do when we uh, finish our university studies is to get uh, a diploma. We get uh, a certificate. So, uh, this is what we call a qualification. It comes from the verb to qualify. Let me write it down here. The verb is to qualify and the adjective is uh, qualified. So when you get this qualification, it's uh, like you are qualified for a particular job. So this is what uh, qualification uh, means here. Then when you get the qualification, what do you have to do? You have to search for a job. You have to look for a job or we can also say to seek. So to seek means the, to search for to look for or you try to find or obtain uh, something. So when you seek or you look for a job, you are called a job seeker. Okay, so the person is called a seeker. So to do that, what do you have to do? You have to go to a company and you have to uh, give them or uh, submit your qualifications. And we call this process uh, 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 to apply for the job, it means, uh, or for a job, it means uh, to request formally. So, as you can see from the picture, the job applicant here, the job applicant, so this is also called a job applicant, is the person who looks for a job. Okay, so he is called a job applicant. So, the verb is to apply for a job, the noun is a uh, uh, a job application and the person who applies for a job is called an applicant. So to apply for a job, what do you need? You need to prepare your own CV or resume. Uh, they seem to be similar, but there is a, a slight difference between these two words. A CV uh, has no length limits so it can be four or five pages if you want but a resume it's like the short version or a short version of uh, the uh, cv so it's uh, the summary of your work uh, experience great so to apply for a job you have to meet some requirements of course when the company looks for a particular uh, applicant or candidate for a job, they set like a, a list or a set of requirements. So a requirement is a condition that is compulsory and necessary. So if you don't meet the requirements, you cannot be eligible for for the job. So for example, we know nowadays, we know that English is a, a very important language. So it has become a, a requirement all companies or the majority of companies around the world require that you have a, a very good level of English. So English here is one 
of the requirements needed to be eligible uh, for the job so you also need to be proficient so you need to be proficient in english to be able to be hired in that company so to be proficient in means to be skilled in doing something or at doing something it means that you have the ability or the expertise or the skill to do a particular job okay so and the last word of course is going to be to target to target it means to aim at so for example this lesson aims at teaching you how to write a cover letter okay so after dealing now with these uh, words uh, we are going now to learn how to write a cover letter or what we call a letter of application so uh, as uh, as i said earlier this is uh, i have two questions in one question here so first we are going to learn how to answer the put in the right intense for question and simultaneously at the same time we're going to uh, identify the different parts of the the cover letter uh, that uh, you need to mention in uh, in this letter of uh, application so before before getting started i would like to remind you as usual of uh, some of the tips and tricks uh, that you need to follow when you answer this type of question so the first thing as usual you need to read the paragraph and try to identify the, the, all the signal words and hints in uh, in the paragraph and i'm going to explain this uh, point of course and then read as many times as possible because reading the paragraph one time is not enough to find all the clues and hints uh, in the paragraph and the last uh, tip here is uh, decide whether you need a form or you need uh, a tense in each uh, or for each uh, gap so let me explain the first point what do i mean by hints or clues suppose we have this uh, sentence here i teach english since 2006 so since 2006 here is my indicator it's my clue it's my indicate indicator okay so it means that i have to use the present perfect so i have to find some clues or all the clues that can help me find the correct answer so the correct answer for this one is i have taught english since 2006 or i've been teaching english for about uh, or since 2006 so you have to keep in mind that in almost every sentence or each sentence you have a clue or you have a, a hint that can help you find uh, the correct uh, answer the second point i would like to clarify here is the difference between a tense and a form most of the time students do not differentiate between uh, them they always get confused so for example what are the tenses that we usually uh, or the students uh, are supposed to uh, to to know for example the simple uh, present the present progressive the future the simple past the past progressive the present perfect the present perfect progressive as well as uh, the past perfect so all of these are the tenses so when the question asks you to put in the right tense you have to keep in mind that you will need or you will use one of these uh, tenses but if you have to put the word in parentheses in the right form you have to expect to put it in the infinitive form the bare infinitive the gerund form the ed or ing adjectives uh, the passive voice the active voice the adverbs the comparative form or the superlative form so all of these are forms so when you want or when you are going to answer this question you have to put in the right tense and in the right form it's not only about tenses or about forms it's a mixture of both of them is it clear here so what is my point my point is that do not only focus on putting the verbs in the right tense or form so you have to ask yourself whether you need a tense or you need 
a form in each gap and that's what we are going to do now with this uh, exercise great so as you can see this is a simple answer of uh, a letter of uh, application so uh, let's now identify the different parts so uh, as you can see the first section of this uh, letter is called the heading so what is it composed of actually it's composed of uh, different things but to, to keep things easier and simpler for you i would like you to keep in mind these acronyms here dar when you read it upward and sad when you read it downward it's like dar sad dar sad dar sad and each letter here stands for a particular word d stands for dear which is a greeting a stands for the address and r stands for the receiver so george here is the receiver of this letter but s john donaldson as you can see here is the sender of this letter so you see and of course below that you have to write the address of the receiver and the date of sending this letter okay so this is what we call the heading but of course in the baccalaureate exam you are not uh, you don't have uh, much space to uh, write the heading okay but of course in the baccalaureate exam you don't have uh, much space for that so uh, usually we start the letter with the, the greeting okay so of course here this is something very important when you are asked to write a letter of application or any kind or any type of letter you have to start with a greeting so let's now start with the first paragraph here and put in the right tense and form. So I write to apply for the programmer position advertised in the Times Union. So here I should say I am writing. I am writing. So I have to use the present perfect. And this is a common mistake, a mistake that students usually make. They write, I write to apply for the programmer position so you should use the present progressive because you are describing what you are doing while writing this letter here i am writing now this letter to whether to uh, express my complaint whether to apologize or to apply for uh, for a job so i am writing here to apply for the programmer position so this is the position that i am applying for advertised in the times union as requested i enclose a completed job what so for example this is my envelope here so i enclose it means i include to enclose it means in Includes in envelope a job application my certification so here we have a noun a noun and a noun so I have three nouns here so we need another noun before uh, that so that we can keep uh, this uh, sentence or this uh, sentence uh, paralleled so a job application my certification or my degree as we said earlier my resume or cv and three references so this is my introduction what should my introduction include it should include or you should state why you are writing this letter and what the position is so always in the first paragraph of any kind of letter you should state what the reason for writing the paragraph is whether you are complaining whether you are apologizing whether you are applying for a job whether you are inquiring about information so state that right from the beginning and for this letter of application you need to state what the position is maybe the company is hiring different positions so you want you should state what the position you are applying for 
in, for, in this case. So let's move on to the second part. The role is very, and then we have appeal. We know that after very, we need an adjective. Very good, very uh, tiring, very uh, interesting, very uh, attractive, and very appealing. So, appealing. So, to appeal or appealing is, it means uh, attractive. So, this job is very attractive. Okay? This job is very attractive. And I believe that my strong technical education make me highly competitive candidate for this position. So, here I have chosen highly because competitive is an adjective and before an adjective we need an adverb. So, that's why we have chosen this uh, an adverb for this, uh, for this answer. So, make me a highly competitive, it comes from the verb to compete and the noun is competition, candidate for this position. So, my key strengths that would support my success in this position includes I have successfully designed. So you see, I have successfully designed. Uh, what do we need here? Do we need a tense or do we need a form? I have designed. This is the verb. So what do we need before an auxiliary and uh, its past participle? We need an adverb, which is successfully. So how, again, how do we uh, form an adverb from an adjective? We add ly. Let's get back to the previous one. High, highly. Successful, successfully. Slow, slowly. Quick, quickly. Rapid, rapidly. So this is how we form an adverb. Is it clear? So let's move on. I have successfully developed, designed, developed and supported life use applications. So I strive continually to strive, it means uh, to work hard, to work hard, for what? For something, which is uh, excellence. So I work hard for something, so we need a noun. What is the noun that comes from excel? The adjective is excellent and the noun is uh, excellence. So, I provide exceptional contributions to customer service for all customers. With the BS degree in computer programming, I have a comprehensive I have a comprehensive understanding of the full life cycle for software development projects. So, a co comprehensive here means uh, something that is complete. Uh, understanding. I have a comprehensive understanding. It means I have an understanding that covers different areas or different uh, or a wide uh, scope. Okay. Uh, of the full life cycle for software development projects. I also have experience in and applying. So, and is an indicator here. What do we have after and? We have gerund form, applying verb plus ing. So, what do we need before it? We need another gerund form, which is learning. Okay? So, this is again parallelism. We've seen that before in a couple of videos and uh, I would like to remind you, so when you have and, if you have a noun, you need a noun before that. If you have an adjective, you need uh, an adjective before, before that. If you have an adverb, you need an adverb before that to keep uh, the sentence uh, or the structure paralleled. So, I also have experience <clears throat> in learning and applying new technologies as appropriate. Please see my resume or CV for 
addition information on my experience so again information is a noun and we know that we need an adjective before a noun what is the noun that comes from addition it is additional information so here please see my resume for more information additional information supplementary information on my experience so this is the body of the the the, the cover letter of or of the letter of application so what have we mentioned here so first get the reader hooked so and uh, make them more interested in learning about you and about your experiences so or experience so get them interested so how can we do that we should discuss and mention our relevant qualifications and skills so in other words you have like uh, to sell yourself show your competencies show your experiences uh, and your skills in uh, in this uh, uh, position so this is very important then state why the company is the perfect fit for you why the company is suitable for you as as a person and then state your qualities what are your qualities and why you are the perfect fit for the company so here you should state why the company is fit for you and why you are fit for the com for the company so this is what we have mentioned here in uh, this uh, body part so we uh, we've mentioned the strengths uh, of uh, the job applicant and uh, his uh, degree which is uh, he has a degree or a BS degree in computer programming so so it seems that the job applicant is experienced in uh, or skilled or proficient in this field is it clear let's move on now to the last part of this uh, letter of application so here thank you for your time and your consideration so the last part is called closing the letter so the different parts of the letter of application are uh, uh, clear we have the heading the introduction the body and the closing so let's see what we can mention here in the closing parts so thank you for your time and consideration i'm looking forward to so this is my indicator here so do we need again a form or do we need a tense so of course i am this is the tense am um, is the tense so of course we will need a form here so what is the form that we need after look forward to always 100 percent either a noun or plus verb plus ing form so to look forward to plus verb plus i n g always so as you can see here plus verb plus ing form okay what what does it mean so this means that you are waiting for this letter with excitement and with enthusiasm so after that uh, i'm looking forward to speaking with you about this employment opportunity sincerely so you always end your letter with the sincerely faithfully and then you state or you write your name so here in this closing part we thank the reader and you sign your letter so this is how we should write a letter of application so again we should have a heading an introduction a body and a conclusion or what we call a closing is it clear so uh, we've come to the end of this uh, video i hope you've enjoyed it if you have don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and also to make sure to subscribe to our channel so that you can get notified whenever i upload a new video thank you so much love and peace react of course, if you want to uh, follow me, you can follow me on uh, YouTube, Facebook and uh, Instagram.